Hello and welcome back to the Hunger Games Simulator video. Now being as it is now October, it's time to delve into the more horror based themes. So this horror based theme is Dead by Daylight. I thought about doing a Dead by Daylight Hunger Games earlier this year, but I figured I'd wait till it's October, so you know, it's more like, it fits the more spooky vibes of the month, you know what I mean? So I like Dead by Daylight, and I'm assuming most of you guys watching this also like Dead by Daylight. So I make sure to also uh, look forward to a boys video of me and the boys playing Dead by Daylight, which uh, will hopefully be filmed soon. Don't take my word for it, because I, I, I'm kind of notorious for not sticking to what I say. But um, that should happen, that should be a thing. Or maybe it's already out by the time you're watching this video, so go and check it out if it is. So now before we go through all the contestants, let me just tell you something about them, uh, which is that I don't have any licensed characters in this horror game. The reason I don't have any licensed killers is because I didn't want this to be too close to my horror movie horror games that I made last year, which you can go check that out, where I basically had a bunch of these horror villains. But anyways, let's just get into the contestants. So in District 1, we got Trapper. It's a trap! He's like kind of the face of Dead by Daylight. He's like in the logo. Then also just go on, we got Wraith. I'm sorry to all the Wraith mains, but he do be the most forgettable killer in the game. In District 2, we got Hillbilly, basically rip off Leatherface. Also in District 2, we got the Nurse, who I think is like one of the hardest killers to play, if I'm correct. Unless I'm confusing her with uh, the Spirit. In District 3, there is Hag. You know, she makes a teleporter, so she'll probably be all over the place in this horror game. She's fighting all these different people. We'll see. Unless she just dies. Also in District 3, there is the Doctor, who is... I would say is my main killer. So if I had to pick a favorite, I'd say I'd want the doctor to win this whole thing. Um, so let me know in the comments below, uh, that rhymed right there. But let me know uh, wh wh what character you want to see win this horror game. Then District 4, there is Huntress. She reminds me of Vanny from. And then in District 4, there is Clown. Uh, I, I don't know why I was kind of expecting something to happen there. Um, I guess because, you know, the whole Halloween month and everything. You know, just just, just to be safe, I'm going to uh, replace Clown for Maurice the Horse. Then in District 5, there is Spirit. Did you see it? Then also in District 5, there is Legion, which I know technically isn't just one character, so I guess it's just one of the members of the Legion. Then in District 6, there is Plague. Then also in District 6, there is Oni. In District 7, there is Deathslinger. It's time. Then in District 7, there is Blight. In District 8, there is the Twins. Technically, it's a duo that's competing. So, uh, you know, let's see, you know, will that give her the upper hand? Also, in District 8, there is Trickster. In District 9, there is the Artist, a pretty new killer that's been added. She kind of controls ravens and stuff. Then also in District 9, there's the final killer, and that is Dredge, who's actually rumored in the, in the Dead by Daylight lore to have killed Maurice. Now, in District 10, we're getting to the survivors. So there is Dwight Fairfield. Then also just extend there is Meg Thomas. Then District 11, there is Claudette Morel. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't play Survivor, I don't know. Also in District 11, there is Ace Visconti. In District 12, there is Michaela Reed. She's probably the most powerful survivor, so I think she's like actually a witch. And then our final contestant and also a final survivor is Adam Francis. Now let's proceed to see who will win the Hunger Games Simulator Dead by Daylight Edition. Remember, comment down below which of these contestants you want to see win. As it should be said on the podiums, the horn sounds. Michaela Reed runs away from the cornucopia. Blight snaps Hag's neck. So she'll probably be all over the place in this horror game. She's fighting all these different people. We'll see. Unless she just dies. That's a quick kill from Blight. Doctor finds a backpack full of camping equipment. What's the camping equipment? Is it, uh, uh let me think of a dead body item. Let me think of a funny. Uh, funny in progress, funny in progress. It's a toolbox. It wasn't funny. That was, that was unfunny. Spirit finds Nurse hiding in the cornucopia and kills her. Two deaths already and we're barely into this. I guess they don't call them killers for nothing. Claudette Morel runs away from the cornucopia. I'm trying to find some generators to fix. Wraith runs away from the cornucopia. Oni runs away from the cornucopia. Dwight Fairfield gets as much food as he can. So you have some survivor's pudding. Very delicious. I love to eat eyeballs. Meg Thomas runs away from the cornucopia. Artist runs away from the cornucopia. Legion grabs a shovel. Play grabs a sword. Hillbilly grabs a jar of fishing bait while Trickster gets fishing gear. Maurice and Ace Viscani fights for a bag. Maurice gives up and retreats. You know, what's the power of Maurice? Like, I, I don't think he's a normal horse. He has like three eyes. Deathslinger finds a bag full of explosives. Twins runs away from the cornucopia. Trapper runs away from the cornucopia. Dredge takes a spear from inside the cornucopia. 
Adam Francis finds a flashlight in a chest. Huntress cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. What do you mean you can't handle the circumstances? You're a killer. You do this for like a living, basically. Claudette Morel clicks fruit from a tree. Maurice attacks Michaela Reed, but he manages- wait, but he manages to escape. Wait, what? Well, Michaela is secretly a guy. This is a plot twist. Dredge diverts Trixie's attention and runs away. Meg Thomas collects fruit from a tree. The survivors just like collecting fruit from trees. Twins kill Ace Viscani with a sickle. But which twin killed him though? Was it the freaking bee? Spirit receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Oni, Adam Francis, Hillbilly, Blight, and Wraith hunt for other tributes. Trapper defeats Artis in a fight, but spares her life. Deathslinger goes hunting. Dwight Fairfield receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Four can trust me heard of this since Hag, Nurse, Huntress, and Ace Visconti. Deathslinger and Oni talk about the tribute still alive. Spirit starts a fire. Hillbilly and Doctor talk about the tribute still alive. Plague is unable to convince Michaela Reed to not kill her. The survivors are killing killers now. Blight begs her Trapper to kill him. He refuses keeping Blight alive. Trapper does not like killing people. What is up with that? Like, you realize you are a killer, right? Like, that is, that's, that's who you are. Dwight Fairfield tends to his wounds. Wraith, Dredge, and Adam Francis cheerfully sing songs together. <laughs> Why is Adam Francis singing with them? Legion twins, Claudette Morel, Artis, and Trickster sleep in shifts. Meg Thomas uses a flash grenade on Maurice and runs away. Spirit goes hunting. Legion makes a wooden spear. Dwight Fairfield injures himself. Is he crawling on the ground now? Meg Thomas runs away from Adam Francis. Why are the survivors fighting each other? Like, you should be working together, I would think, right? Most of Adam Francis has joined the killer's side, and that's why he's been singing with them. Wraith defeats Claudette Morel in a fight, but spares her life. Now the killers are sparing survivors? Like, what is, what's going on? Hillbilly and Maurice work together the drowned doctor. Trickster searches for a water source. Michaela Reed stuns Blight with a flashlight and runs away. Michaela Reed's like the most aggressive survivor so far. Deathslinger tries to spear fish with a trident. Why not spear fish with, you know, your harpoon gun, right? Two cannon shots can be heard of this since Plague and Doctor. Maurice loses sight of where he is. Poor Maurice. How, how can you lose sight when you have three eyes? Michaela Reed climbs a tree to rest. Adam Francis and Meg Thomas talk about the tribute still alive. Only tends to his wounds. Hillbilly also tends to his wounds. Legion receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Trapper decapitates Dwight Fairfield with a sword. Well, now Trapper wants to kill people. Wraith and Trickster run to each other and decide to choose for the night. These are such opposite killers. Like, one's like black and white, and the other one is like full on rainbow. Spirit cries herself to sleep. Dredge stabs Deathslinger with a tree branch. Twins climb a tree to rest. Oni tends to Blight's wounds. Legion, Wraith, Dredge, and Trickster raid Meg Thomas's camp while she is hunting. Spirit scares twins off. Adam Francis and Hillbilly split up the search for resources. Adam Francis is just one of the killers now. He's, he's working with them too much. Trapper is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Two cannon shots may heard in this since Dwight Fairfield and Deathslinger. Michaela Reed finds a toolbox. Spirit cries herself to sleep. Dredge tends to Claudette Morel's wounds. Dredge secretly a nice killer, helping out the survivors. Maurice throws a knife into Trickster's chest. Maurice is not playing around. He just he like probably took one of Trickster's own knives and killed him with it. Oni sets a trap. That's a very trapper thing to do. Artist kills Blight while he is sleeping. And Adam Francis receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Now Adam Francis has his own killing weapon. Michaela Reed attacks Oni, but he manages to escape. Dredge receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Adam Francis fishes. He's going on a little detour from, you know, becoming a killer, but I, you know. Twins use first aid spray to heal themselves. Wraith kills Claudette Morel as he tries to run. Three cannon shots may heard in the distance Trickster, Blight, and Claudette Morel. Michaela Reed screams for help. That's understandable. Even though, like, you're scaring away the killers. Like, I don't know how it's possible. Spirit cooks her food before putting her fire out. Trapper sets up camp for the night. Meg Thomas screams for help. Hillbilly also screams for help. What are you screaming for? Wraith attempts to climb a tree, but falls to his death. So I thought Wraith was going to impress me, but no, he just died to fall damage. There's not even fall damage in Dead Bodele. How do you do this, Wraith? Maurice collects fruit from a tree. Horses do like apples, right? I think that's true. I learned that from Minecraft, so I don't- Legion attacks Adam Francis, but Trapper protects him, killing Legion! I've never seen it happen before, actually. For how many years I've been doing these Hunger Games Simulator videos, like, I've never seen this this prompt before. At least I don't remember seeing it before. I've never seen someone protect the other person. And of course, it's Trapper protecting Adam Francis. I think Trapper knows. He's like, you can't, you can't kill Adam Francis. Like, we have to, we have to kind of keep him safe. We gotta, we gotta teach him how to be a killer. Meg Thomas searches for a water source. Dredge receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Well, Dredge, you want to share some of that with Meg Thomas? An artist cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. 
Three cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Wraith, Legion, and Artist. Meg Thomas finds a toolbox. Didn't she already find a toolbox? Is this a second toolbox? Spirit uses a flash grenade on Michaela Reed and runs away. But the survivor is getting, like, stunned. And Hillbilly's awoken by nightmares. Maurice kills twins for his supplies. <laughs> what is up with Maurice just casually actually being, like, a really good competitor? And Meg Thomas dies from hunger. I would think he dies from thirst. He was looking for a water source a few seconds ago. She should have been looking for a food source. Hillbilly and Oni works on a generator. Adam Francis fishes. He really loves fishing. What is up with that? Two can shots can be heard in this since Twins and Meg Thomas. Maurice and Dredge huddle for warmth. Maurice, get out of there! Quick, it's a trap! Dredge is definitely gonna freaking kill Maurice. In the, in the Dead by Daylight canon and in the Hunger Games canon. Trapper, Hillbilly, and Oni cheerfully sing songs together. Spirit cries herself to sleep. She did that before. Why, why is Spirit crying all the time? The cornucopia is a bunch of food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Michaela Reed decides not to go to the feast. Spirit decides not to go to the feast. Dredge sets an explosive off, killing Maurice and Adam Francis! Well, first of all, I called it with, with Maurice dying by Dredge again. But Adam Francis too? <laughs> Trapper decides not to go to the feast. But Hillbilly gets caught in a trap and dies! That was definitely Trapper's doing. He only accidentally steps on a landmine. I guess it's better than stepping in a trap, right? If you step in a trap, I guess it's like a slow death. At least a landmine is just instant explosion. <laughs> Michaela Reed sprains his ankle while running away from Spirit. Dredge tries to sleep for the entire day, and Trapper fishes. He's honoring Adam Francis. Four cannon shots can be heard in this sense. Maurice, Adam Francis, Hillbilly, and Oni. Trapper uses a flash grenade on Dredge and runs away. Spirit is using explosive from an unknown sponsor. Out of the four contestants who remain, Spirit's definitely the, the least important right now. All she really has done that's memorable is cry. <laughs> Trapper scares Dredge off. Spirit tries to open a closed hatch on the ground. Don't you know you can't escape the Hunger Games? It's not possible. And Michaela Reed dies from hypothermia. One cannon shot can be heard in the distance after Michaela Reed. Dredge goes to sleep. Spirit tries to treat her infection. Then Trapper dies from hunger, and Dredge stabs Spirit while her back is turned. The winner is Dredge from District 9. Yeah, Dredge probably had the most impact on this Hunger Games, to be honest. Because think about it, he killed two of, like, the main characters, I would say. You know, Maurice and then Fr Francis. Here are all the placements. So Dredge in first place with four kills. The second most kills is Maurice with three kills. Anyways, that is it for this Halloween Dead by Daylight themed Hunger Games. Make sure to let me know if you enjoyed this video, and uh, comment down below any other ideas, you know, that you have for Hunger Games themes. So what other themes do you have? It could be for anything, a game, uh, a, you know, TV show, a movie, just literally anything that you could think of. Just comment down below. But anyways, that is it for this video. Dredge is your winner, and goodbye.